Do you know the difference between payroll liabilities and a write checks? And why, if you're using a write checks or even the check register to pay your liabilities when processing payroll in QuickBooks, that you could have a problem? And um, this actually came up yesterday in a call that I was doing. And I thought you might need some information on this too. If we've never met before, hi, I'm Cam Scamper, creator of Commerce QuickBooks and QuickBooks Simplified. And I love to make QuickBooks easy. And this channel is all about that how to get the tips and tricks to make QuickBooks simpler and take your knowledge to the next level. So what is happening with this? Why does this happen? So in QuickBooks, when you are processing payroll, you need to use what's called a liability check to pay your taxes. If you are going straight in and paying it in a different way, even if you're paying it online, you have to come back in and process it properly inside QuickBooks. So come look over my shoulder. Let's jump in and look at QuickBooks online um, to see exactly how to do this properly. Okay. So when you come in here, you will notice that right here under taxes, you are going to have pay tax right? Payroll tax. So first things first, I'm going to duplicate this screen. If you've never done that, that's another little tip for you. And we're going to go in and we're going to look at our reports. So behind the scenes in QuickBooks, what a lot of people don't know is that you have to do it very specifically. If you don't, it won't work. So we're just going to, for simplicity, look up payroll liabilities. We're going to come down here. This report tells you, so let's look at it just for let me move my screen for a second for this year. We'll just do this year. You'll notice that it's going to come in here in this sample file that I have for training for training. You have the tax amount, the tax is paid, the tax is owed. If you're not paying it through a liability, QuickBooks does not know that you've paid it. Okay. So if you're just writing a normal check or trying to do it a different way, but you're using QuickBooks to process it, it won't bring it over here. So it'll think you still owe it. Okay. So, when you come in here, you want to go under taxes, payroll tax. And you're going to see them listed here. OK, so these ones are all current that we're using as a sample file. But if they weren't now, one thing that also came up had to do with like child support and those types of things and how they link back over to your chart of accounts. So if you're looking for how it all sets up, how it goes back to your chart accounts, because one of the things I love to teach is not just pulling this report, but also looking at your chart accounts, comparing them to make sure you know if you have a mistake where that's happening at. So you can actually go under tax setup. And you'll notice you scroll to the very bottom and you'll click on the pencil and it will show you all of your accounts and then where there are linked to. So if you do have child support or those types of things, they'll be at the bottom. You can link it to that. So do you now understand why using liability checks is so important? Because it's how QuickBooks behind the scenes knows that you've been paying your payroll taxes, your child support, any of those things. So have you been doing it right? Let me know down below if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe so you can get our next tip and trick. Or if you'd like to receive them in your inbox, go up above or down below and we'll send them to you. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for being part of my community. I look forward to seeing you inside our next tip and trick. Have an amazing day. Bye.